projects in this video we are going to explain the project fish catcher client side defense against web spoofing attacks using machine learning introduction fish catcher uses machine learning for client side defense against phishing analyzing urls it blocks malicious links enhancing online security without website modifications protecting users from identity theft and fraud the project aims to develop a client side defense tool named fish catcher to combat web spoofing attacks it specifically focuses on enhancing user protection against phishing attempts by employing machine learning techniques to detect and stop malicious urls preventing potential identity theft and unauthorized access with the increasing prevalence of online activities such as e-commerce e-banking and e-learning phishing attacks have evolved into sophisticated threats The project recognizes the urgency of implementing robust defenses against web spoofing which poses risk to user privacy sensitive information and organizational security and the traditional focus on server side solutions to combat phishing attacks has limitations including the need for website modifications and vulnerability to new attack vectors So the project addresses these challenges by emphasizing client side solutions offering users protection without requiring changes to the targeted websites. And the project's primary beneficiaries are the users of online platforms particularly those targeted by phishing attacks. By developing Fish Catcher, the project aims to empower users with an effective tool that leverages machine learning to identify and block malicious URLs. ensuring a safer online experience and reducing the risk of identity theft and fraud objective of the project so as i mentioned earlier fish catcher aims to develop a client side defense mechanism against phishing utilizing advanced support vector classifier and random forest algorithms for precise identification and blocking of malicious urls the goal is to ensure robust protection without altering targeted websites and fish catchers primary objective is real time operation swiftly identifying and blocking malicious urls to proactively mitigate identity theft risks during online activities this approach provides immediate protection enhancing overall user security and fish catcher prioritizes user convenience by seamlessly integrating into popular web browsers enhancing online security without requiring modifications to users preferred websites The goal is to offer a user-friendly experience for effective phishing threat prevention. And Fish Catcher emphasizes client-side solutions providing stand-alone protection against evolving phishing threats. By minimizing reliance on website modifications, the tool aims to ensure comprehensive defense for users in the dynamic digital landscape. Requirements needed to execute this project are software requirements. Software needed is Anaconda Primary language used is Python. Front-end framework used is Flask. Back-end framework used is Jupyter Notebook. Database used is SQLite 3, and front-end technologies used are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap 4. Hardware requirements needed are operating system of Windows, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 8 GB and above, and hard disk of 25 GB and above. Now we'll discuss the working models of flow of work. So the first step is importing required packages. In this step, essential Python packages are imported to facilitate data analysis, manipulation, and visualization. The packages include those for dataset exploration like pandas, data visualization like Seaborn and Matplotlib, and for model building like Sklearn. The second step is exploring the dataset. So this phase involves gaining insights into the phishing dataset structure, size, and characteristics. Exploratory data analysis techniques are applied to understand the distribution of features, identify patterns and assess the dataset's overall quality. The third step is visualization using Seaborn and Matplotlib. So in this step by utilizing Seaborn and Matplotlib libraries, data visualization techniques are applied. This step includes creating various types of charts, plots or graphs to visually explore relationships, distributions, trends or patterns in the data. The next step is feature extraction. So here a custom feature extraction function is implemented to derive relevant characteristics from URLs. This includes features based on the address bar domain and HTML or JavaScript attributes. The function utilizes various methods such as checking for the presence of an IP address, analyzing domain related information and assessing HTML and JavaScript attributes. 
The next step is splitting the data to train and test. So in this step, the dataset is divided into two subsets, one for training the model and another for testing its performance. This separation ensures an unbiased evaluation of the model's accuracy, allowing for effective validation and refinement. And the next step is training and building the model. So here, the models are trained using the extracted features and corresponding labels. The training process involves using machine learning algorithms, support vector classifier and random forest to learn patterns and relationships within the data. So the goal is to create a predictive model capable of accurately classifying URLs as phishing or legitimate. And in the next step, to enhance predictive accuracy, other machine learning models are explored and evaluated as an extension. This step involves testing and comparing different algorithms to select the one that best suits the dataset and improves the model's overall robustness. And a user-friendly interface is built using the Flask web framework as an extension. And the application includes user authentication functionalities using SQLite. This step establishes a seamless connection between the user and the model, providing a platform for user input and displaying the final prediction outcome. And after signing in, user provides input through the front end and the input is pre-processed to ensure compatibility with the trained models. This step involves transforming and organizing the input data to be fed into the model for prediction. And the pre-processed input is then fed into the trained machine learning models. These models utilize the patterns learned during the training phase to predict whether a given URL is phishing or legitimate. And the final prediction outcome is communicated to the user through the front-end interface. This outcome serves as an indicator of whether the provided URL is likely to be associated with phishing or deemed safe based on the model's analysis. Now we'll understand about the algorithms used. So the first algorithm built is Support Vector Classifier. So the Support Vector Classifier that is SVC is a supervised learning algorithm chosen for its effectiveness in classification tasks, making it a suitable choice for phishing detection in this project. SVC works by identifying a hyperplane that optimally separates different classes in the feature space. In the context of URL analysis, SVC aims to create a decision boundary that distinguishes between phishing and legitimate URLs. It excels in capturing non-linear relationships within high-dimensional feature spaces, making it well-suited for handling the diverse characteristics of URLs. By identifying critical support vectors, SVC ensures a robust classification model contributing to the project's goal of precise client-side defense against phishing. The second algorithm built is Random Forest. So the Random Forest algorithm is employed for its ensemble learning approach, making it particularly adept at handling complex datasets within diverse features such as those derived from URL characteristics. Random Forest constructs multiple decision trees during training, each based on a random subset of features. This ensemble of trees collectively contributes to the final prediction. In phishing detection, Random Forest trend lies in its ability to mitigate overfitting generalize well to unseen data and provide insights into feature importance. By leveraging the ensemble nature of Random Forest, the project aims to enhance the robustness and accuracy of the model, ensuring a comprehensive defense against evolving phishing trends. Now we'll see the comparison graphs. So this is the horizontal bar graph comparing accuracies of different algorithms. In this graph on x-axis I have accuracy scores and on y-axis I have algorithm names. So accuracy measures the overall correctness of predictions showing the percentage of correctly classified instances. This is precision scores comparison graph. In this graph on x-axis I have precision scores and on y-axis I have algorithm names. So precision measures the accuracy of positive predictions, indicating how many predicted positives were actually correct. This is recall scores comparison graph. In this graph on x-axis I have recall scores and on y-axis I have algorithm names. So recall measures the ability to identify all relevant instances showing how many actual positives were correctly predicted. And this is F1 score comparison graph. In this graph on x-axis I have F1 scores and on y-axis I have algorithm names. So F1 score combines precision and recall into a single metric, balancing accuracy and completeness in predictions. So the algorithm which is best performing in all the performance metrics will be used for predictions. Execution of the project. To execute this project, first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files. 
so this is data folder in which i have fishing data set with class labels on which we will train the models this is static folder this folder consists of files related to css javascript and bootstrap this is templates folder this folder contains all the html pages used in the project it typically includes files like index.html about.html etc which represent different pages of the website this is app.py file this .py file contains the information related to front end logic it includes code written in python that handles server side operations such as processing user requests interacting with the database and generating dynamic content to be rendered in the html pages and this is notebook.ipmyme file this jupyter file contains combination of code graphs and outputs all in one place it allows users to write and execute code in individual cells making it a popular choice for data science and this is signup.db file this file is the database file used to store user information so now copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer i'm copying it open anaconda prompt use the command cd followed by a space and paste the copied path and hit the enter button so this command is used to change the current directory to the code folder's path now compile the app.py file using the command python space app.py i'm typing python space app.py and hit the enter button so this command will execute the python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues after running the app.py file the flask framework will host the application locally at the default address local host and port unless configured differently now copy the local link provided by the framework i'm copying it paste it into any web browser i prefer chrome after pasting it hit the enter button so the home page of the project has been displayed in the browser this is the front end built using flask framework So here we can see a sign up link click on it. So if you are new users we have to register first. Fill in all these details and click on sign up button to register. And if we already have an account we can directly log in by clicking on this link. So as you already have an account I'm clicking on this link. So here we have to provide a credentials, username and password. And click on sign in button. So it has redirected us to the detection page and here we can see a input box where we have to provide a URL as input and the application will classify it as either phishing or not. So I have given the input. Now click on check here button. It will take some time to load. So this is the provided input and here we can see the result that is website is 100% unsafe to use. So the application has classified the provided URL as phishing. And if we still want to view the website, we can click on still want to continue button and it will redirect us to the website. So this is the website. So click on home link, we'll try again giving another URL. I have given the input. Now click on check here button. So this is the provided input and here we can see the result that is website is 98% safe to use. So if we still want to view the website click on still want to continue button and it will take us to the website. So similarly we can provide any input and can get the classification whether it is phishing or not. Now click on sign out link. So the conclusion here is the project has successfully developed and implemented fish catcher a client side defense tool employing support vector classifier and random forest algorithms this robust model effectively identifies and blocks malicious urls fortifying users against phishing threats 
without requiring modifications to targeted websites. And through meticulous feature extraction, Fish Catcher incorporates a diverse set of URL characteristics including address bar attributes, domain based features and HTML or JavaScript properties. This comprehensive approach enhances the model's ability to discern between phishing and legitimate URLs, contributing to its accuracy and reliability. And the integration of Fish Catcher into a Flask based frontend coupled with user authentication using SQL Lite ensures a seamless and secure user experience. The user-friendly interface facilitates input processing, leveraging the trained models for predictions and ultimately displaying the final outcome in a clear and accessible manner. And the project has gone beyond the conventional approach by exploring alternative machine learning models to enhance predictive accuracy. This effort ensures that Fish Catcher remains robust and adaptable to evolving phishing threats, contributing to a more resilient defense mechanism. So, Fish Catcher not only focuses on efficient machine learning algorithms but also addresses user centric concerns by minimizing reliance on website modifications. This client side emphasis, coupled with the incorporation of diverse features, signifies a holistic approach to online security. The project stands as a significant step towards providing users with a comprehensive defense against the evolving landscape of web based phishing threats. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.